Well, hello and welcome to the channel. Look at this, absolutely stunning. It's half term and I've come up to Stoughton downhill. Haven't been here for such a long time, but I just want to be able to see how much I can get in compared to the conventional bike. That's what everything seems to be about at the moment for me. And Stoughton downhill is one of those places that will absolutely test that to the limit. So let's get to the top and drop into the first run. So the first trail I'm going to hit into up here is called the Edge. It is a blue. The signage has uh, sort of faded away or just disappeared completely there. But um, it's all on trail fork so you can link it in nicely. Highly suggest if you haven't been here that you do this one first. It's just nice to get dialed in and warmed up. Um, hopefully nothing has changed uh, too dramatically since last time I was here. But only one way to find out. Let's drop it in. Really nice flow, couple of little features on this one. There's one. Don't have to do it, go around it of course. And then sort of slice through the trees here. Very chalky up here. It's one of those places can be absolutely lethal when it's been raining. Tight section and then a nice flow hopefully through the trees. Yes, so nothing's changed through there which is good. Straight down the road and then back up gonna go up here and there is like a push-up um, just want to see what we get on the Ebe really this is quite steep right now gonna put it in turbo get a good gear and yeah normally you push up here five six times and then you've kind of had enough with all the runs just kind of whacked this way for those that come here you'll appreciate this is obviously looking quite easy right now and then you're straight back just watch no one's there onto the fire track <laughs> so when you get to the top you can see that there's a board and on there is annotated all the trails and the sort of features that you can expect to see so the edge we've just done going to drop into heron hounds now and as i look the other way you can see that they're signposted at the trailhead where they go in for each one so just going to pick my way through certain things today um, i'm on my own um, so it does get a little bit nerve-wracking being out in the sticks literally on your own so it's one of those chilled out sessions but heron hounds is one of my favorite trails up here i know they were doing a lot of work um, last time i was up here so let's go and see what's been done. Hare and hounds. just through the woods is the veil you're not really going to see that from here this is the black trail let's uh, hit in it's been a while there's things on here that i cannot do so i will just bypass those first you're greeted with a gap you come out of this berm i have done that but it's just been 
for one and then there's a canyon gap oh, just felt rather slow all right let's reset if it doesn't feel right don't do it Just that, still not got the minerals. So unfortunately that part is never gonna feature on my channel for me doing it anyway. There's just a huge table down there that I can't do either by the way. So look at that, you can come through the trees. Nice rock garden. And then it goes off the big jump, but I never seem to get the line up for that right. The one thing I experienced on this boat, maybe someone can help me out. These are XT brakes, 203 Shimano rotors, and they come as stock with the genuine Shimano metal pads. And I keep getting that wallowing. What's going on? Condition's perfect. Don't get it. Always seems to be the front. Looks like they've carved a new line in here. This is to do the bigger jump at the bottom of the black. I'm not gonna go steam in down there. There we go. <laughs> that felt super smooth on this. Okay, I've come back up to the top. I'm gonna do a trail X now. Here's a black. Jump line at the beginning, then just a, I don't know, like a, a little bit of tech going through. Always remember it's the one that's not had the most work done to it compared to these other ones I've shown you, but we'll give it a go. It's been such a long time. Let's see uh, what happens. Okay, a bit of a hit. Uh, you see what I mean about the sort of work? Oh, it still flows. It's a trail for God's sake, but... Oh wow, this... <laughs> yeah, you can see what's trying to happen here. Needs a bit more work that. So look, if you've never been here before, I highly recommend it. On the drier days is definitely um, something you need to go for. It's rideable uh, when the conditions are damp, but it can be pretty treacherous up here. It's just like an ice rink. To the left of me there, oh, get through the hedge. Um, what you have is April, that is a black jump line. I'll sort of give you an idea. I mean, the jumps are fairly big. This is very well maintained, this area. And because of that, it gets locked off at certain points and then opened up by the people that run it up here. As you can see there, sort of chained off. Um, so yeah, it starts off fairly small and then obviously gets bigger and bigger and more progressive as it goes along. Uh, tables, big gaps sort of chicken line options if you like and even with them chicken lines they're just too big for me so I don't ever find myself wanting to do this element of uh, Stoughton but it's there for the senders amongst you and you can just push back up this section here 
and go and do them over and over again. So that's it, that completes today's edit. I hope you enjoyed what you saw there. It's been such a long time that it's just good to come back up here and see that so much effort has been put into some of those trails. So well done to the trail builders. Uh, you know who you are, so massive thumbs up. Just 15 miles, three and a half thousand feet, tons of trails. It's just, it opens up a whole different avenue of riding and that's exactly why I got it for days like this amongst other things. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, throw your comments in down below. Press subscribe down the bottom there. Would love to see you come back for more content, but until then, I'll see you for the next one.